Now the violent outburst from Ricky Nixon on the streets of Melbourne today. The disgraced former AFL player agent snapped and attacked our reporter Seb Costello right in front of our cameras. Oh, oh sorry. Ricky. Ricky. Sorry. We just approached the man who calls himself Chicken. We wanted to know about his controversial new business venture, but things quickly escalated. How do you actually create skin brightening for somebody? Oh, oh Rick. Rick, sorry. Nixon's big hit, his elbow slamming into my jaw. The former AFL player and player agent with a fixed glare in the moments that follow. Nixon retreats into a bank where he looks quite pleased with himself before appearing to call police. South Melbourne Police. Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh. to be honest, Rick, we'd like to speak oh. to the South to Melbourne Bay Police Street. as well. Up to Bay Street right now. Yeah. Child Rick, I think if the police are going to attend, maybe we have a complaint to make as well, Rick. The only drip I know is you get out of my way. Hey, Ricky, Ricky, don't touch her, mate. Don't touch her. That's an insult. All right, you've already elbowed me. What, are you going to now push her out of the way? Get real, Ricky. Why are you insulting the media, Ricky, when we just wanted to talk oh, to you about the media. Oh. We thought that was as much as we were going to see and hear from Nixon, but not long after, he proved us wrong. Mr Nixon, I'm just calm down. Don't be stop, I'm going to speak to you. I, I will speak to you. I'm, I'm live on Prayer W right now. So, we... I think it's best that you... We, we take ten minutes, and then we'll speak. OK. OK. Please, okay. We can de-escalate it, but you need to move out of my space, please. Um, Do it now. He's now here on the street hang staring up. at me. Hang um, up and hey, do it now. What's that? Do it now. Mr Nixon, we're not going to do something Well, you, you just invaded my privacy. No, we're on a public street, Mr Nixon. We're on a public street? Well, yes. the police didn't agree with that. I, I think the police will see our videotape, Mr Nixon, yeah. and they'll decide. Good luck. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No. Stand back. Stand back. I'm standing on the street. I'm allowed to enjoy myself, are I? I approached Nixon after his latest venture made the front page. The Australian Medical Association's Dr Roderick McRae saying Nixon's activities with an infusion business raised red flags at every point. Following the 59-year-old's announcement he was selling IV infusions, offering skin brightening and a revitalised life for up to $350. The Australian Medical Association might want to offer an apology pretty quickly. I've only used registered nurses and doctors. My business partner owns the biggest medical centres in Victoria. Nixon, who made a fortune marketing AFL players through the media, has lurched from one controversy to another in recent years. In 2011, he admitted to inappropriate dealings with an underage schoolgirl named Kim Duthie after a photo emerged of them in bed together. The next year, he pleaded guilty to intentionally causing injury to then-girlfriend Tegan Gould. And last year, we asked him why footballs he'd sold, claiming to be signed by Melbourne Demons grand final players, came with autographs that didn't match. Ricky, Seb Costello, Current Affair. Just wanted to have a chat to you about some footballs. No, I think the gonna police are going to But back to today, where a colleague of mine, who Nixon had already put his hands on, wasn't spared from his venom. I love pushing media out of the way because you're a bunch of low-life dogs. You've got children. How would you feel if people acted like that towards oh, your I reckon kids? they'd probably punch you in the head. It's, it's one thing to... It's one thing... <laughs> Mate, mate, it's one thing to show me, to show Chris, but why did you put your hands on... Yeah, all right. Showing no remorse, he snapped again. You want to go there? We didn't, and he finally walked away. Late this afternoon, Nixon posted his reports of our incident online, writing, God, I wish the media would get it right. I thought I kicked him, then stabbed him, slashed him, then ran over him in my car. It's unclear how today will affect the intravenous infusion venture, but his actions will again come to the attention of authorities beyond the medical industry. Well, late today, the medical company partnered with Nixon, severed ties with him.